Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So in today's video, I just wanted to do something a little bit different and apply my makeup in direct sunlight. I think this is gonna be a fun video. It's absolutely gonna kill my eyes, but it's okay, do it for the art. <laughs> But I just wanted to do something more spring and summer inspired. And the and the direct sunlight that pours into my office just really inspires me. And I just love this space so much and I've been feeling so inspired lately. So I hope this video is fun. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. So I thought this video would be a fitting one to try out the new Becca Ignite Liquefied Light Highlighters. So these are okay for the body and face, which I like. I don't like having separate highlighters for my body. I like when they can be used on the face as well. So they sent me two shades, Creativity and Passion. I'll just quickly swatch them and figure out which one I'm going to be applying today on my shoulders. And I will also be using this as my highlighter, as my highlighter, and I also will be using it as my highlighter later on. Oh, that looks so pretty in this light. The top one is the shade Passion, and the one underneath that is Creativity, which is the one I'm going to be using because it has more of a golden undertone to it. I'm just gonna pin my hair back quickly. And by the way, I'll link the little rainbow film that I've been using in a lot of my pictures and my product shots and everything like that. It also gives me so much inspiration and I just love having a rainbow space. I don't know, it brings me so much happiness. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit on my shoulders. I'm just gonna use this brush. I've never used this brush before. It's the Moda Pro BMX 180 Buffer. Sounds like a bike. That is super pretty. I really like that on the body. We'll see about the face. I'm not sure how that will look. That is so pretty and it does have a scent to it, just so you know. It does smell kind of more like a tropical sunscreen. It's very intense, but it's not super glittery, which I like. Like, I don't look like Edward Cullen, which I don't like about a lot of body shimmer products like these. But this one does look super nice and I like the color. So that's pretty promising. But now let's move on to the makeup products. I'm pretty sure this video is just gonna be like however many minutes of me squinting straight. So the first product I'm gonna be going in with is the Glossier Future Dew. It took me a while for me to fall in love with this. I wasn't sure at the beginning, but now I'm completely obsessed and I think about using it every single day. It is the best glow giving product if you wanna look actually uh, dewy instead of like sparkly or anything. It does have a little bit of shimmer in there, but it's super unnoticeable And I love the glow that it gives underneath the foundations. It's stunning and I've been using it like crazy So you can see in direct sunlight how intense of a glow it gives. This is gonna be a fun video I think you can really see how products look in different light instead of just kind of indirect light It gives very much of an editorial glow or a uh, fresh out of the gym glow. So now for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I don't think I've tried this with the Glossier Future Dew yet, so this might be like a lot. It's okay, this is just a fun video. So I'm gonna be applying that with my Royal Lang Knuckle Complexion Brush. And this tone might be a little bit deep, I don't know. I do have a little bit of a self tan left, but we'll see. I think it's good. Okay, I think these two products together might be a little bit much. I feel like I look like I just stepped out of the ocean or something. Like I'm sure this is just gonna last for the remaining hours of the day until I turn into a complete oil puddle. But you know, it's fun. I'm not mad at it, but I know it's not gonna be the most long wearing thing. I'm gonna be using the Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop. I'm going to go in with maybe the shade Light 45 or Light 50. I'm not sure which shade would match me the best right now. I'm thinking Light 50. And I'm just gonna be blending that out with my sponge. And I'm also going to pat over my entire complexion with this sponge. So now for my powder, I'm gonna be taking the Milk Makeup Blur and Set, and I'm gonna take a little bit on my sponge to begin with, just to put under the eye. 
like I always do. And I'm also gonna be taking some on this Royal Langnickel. This is the blush brush, and I'm just gonna set mostly the center of my face. I usually don't really set too, too much of my face, but I feel like those two complexion products I used were a little bit much. That's a little bit more reasonable. I like the glow on the outskirts where I'm more normal. So now I'm going to move on to my brows. I'm actually gonna show you how I been doing them and the products I've been using. So the three products I've been using are these three right here. So the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP and two of the M Cosmetics brow products, the brow cream. I use the shade Ebony and I've been using the new brow gel as well, which is really nice. On the other side of this Fenty Beauty pencil, there's this really annoying brush that I don't really like using. I love the pencil, but I don't like that side. So I've just been using a normal spoolie and I just fill in the sparse areas with this. I've been getting a lot of comments about people not liking my brow shape and I just don't care. I like my brows. I just leave them completely natural. I don't really pluck them, don't shape them, don't trim them. I just let them be natural and that way they can't be the wrong shape because they're my natural shape. And then I go in with the M Cosmetics Brow Cream. I love this stuff so much. I'm almost out of this one too. And I love this because you can really grab onto each hair and it just adds so much definition because it coats each hair so nicely. And this has a really great hold on its own, but I like to have more of a spiky brow or like a more lifted brow. So I like going in with a brow gel sometimes. I'll let that set a little bit and dry down and then I'll go in with the M Cosmetics gel and it's really nice. It has kind of like the Glossier Boy Brow brush, which is really nice because it is nice and small and you can really get in there. So I like to spike up the front and then kind of point the brows towards the tail more on the outskirts. Now for my highlighter, I'm going to be going in with some of the Becca one. I feel like I don't really need any, but for fun I wanted to see what this looks like on the face. So I'm just going to take a little dollop of that, kind of spread it out. I don't want it to be too much, and I'm just going to be applying it with my finger. Whoa, <laughs> okay, that's super intense. But wow, okay. That is uh, very beautiful. It's not glittery whatsoever, but I really like that for this type of look. That is insanely bright, <laughs> so that's fun. Um, I'm now gonna go into blush, and I might have made a mistake with setting my face early on, but whatever, I'm gonna try it. I picked out this Tower 28 blush just because of the name and also the color, I love it, but this is the Magic Hour blush. It is so pretty. I'm gonna try to blend it up with this brush right here. This is a Smith Cosmetics 115 brush. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. I love this color so much. Oh, so pretty. It's not acting weird with the powder, thank goodness. But I'm just gonna, you know, me, pile this on. Okay, that's too much, Julian. Calm down. And I'm gonna be doing my bronzer last. I usually do it second or first, but I wanted to use a powder bronzer just so that we have a little bit of powder on my face. That's great to know that it doesn't do any weirdo things on top of powder. It looks amazing on top of powder, so that's nice just in case if you mess up your steps. Hopefully this video is turning out. I'm a little bit nervous. But now for my bronzer, I picked out the Maybelline City Bronzer. I haven't used this in a minute and I miss it. I'm using the shade 200 and I'm using my Nabla Cheek Shaper. So now I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I kinda wanna try out the fox eye technique as best as I remember. I haven't watched any videos really except for Jamie Page's video and that was a few weeks ago already. The palette I'm going to be using today is the Going Coconuts from ColourPop. This is my favorite palette from ColourPop. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna do something very light. Let me know if you'd like to see more of a dramatic fox eye inspired look. I think that'd be fun. So the first shade I'm going to be going in with is Lovely Bunch right here and I'm taking it on a Smith 232 and I already did prime my eyes with a little bit of that ColourPop concealer and 
I'm just going to contour kind of right here. So you just want to make this portion a little bit elongated and more flat. And you're going to want to kind of angle it up as well. So best you take it from the outer corner and kind of flick it. And then you'll get that angle and then you can kind of blend it away. And you can move on to a smaller brush if you want to deepen it up. I probably will a little bit. And you don't want to put too, too much product down over here. So now to get a good angle with this technique, I think a good way to do it is to take a little bit of a lighter concealer. So I'm taking a lighter version of my concealer that I have, but you can use anything or the same concealer, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to take it on this flat brush. This is a Melt 25 brush. And I'm gonna go straight out from my outer corner, kind of following my lashes, just angle it a little bit higher. You're going directly from my outer corner because I'm going to do like kind of a lifted liner effect. Before I create that little liner, I'm going to deepen up that crease just a little bit. This is a Smith 247. It's kind of more flat so you can get some details. So now I'm going to take the deepest shade out of the palette right here, which is called Nutty. And I'm going to be taking this on an angled brush. This is the liner and brows from Nabla. And I'm just going to be creating a shadow liner right here. So I just want kind of a softer look. So I'm just going to do like a tiny little smoky wing. And you want it to be the deepest right here because that's really going to bring your eye upwards. So I'm just going to be packing on a little bit of shadow right on top of my lashes. And the rest will be kind of smoked out. And I'm not bringing this all across the eye either. I'm going to take my Tweezerman line glider with the same shade and I'm going to just define this area of my eye. Just a little bit. You can even use a lighter shadow just to really help elongate the eye. And of course you can clean up the line if it's not as sharp as you would like. And now I'm gonna be taking a shimmer shade and this is my favorite Super Shock from ColourPop. It's the shade A Little Corky. Look at that reflection, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna take some on my ring finger and I'm gonna pat in the center and kind of bring it high. I just love the way glitter looks in direct sunlight. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on my hand of the Becca highlighter and use that as my inner corner highlight. And for me, I want to define my lower lashes just a little bit. I'm gonna take Lovely Bunch again, and I'm just going to define the outer corner right here. Not connecting it to the liner at all, just focusing it right here just to kind of define that a little bit. And there we go, I'm just gonna go quickly Catch this eye up to speed and throw on some mascara and then I'll show you the final eye look. For my mascara, I'm going to be using the Ilia mascara. I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing. I'm focusing the most amount of product on my outer lashes and I'm also dragging them outwards because usually I like to push them in that way so they stand up more straight. But this time, I'm taking them and dragging them and placing them over here just to really help with that shape. And then I am going to define my lower lashes just a touch, but I am going to be focusing the most amount of product right on the outskirts to kind of help that look. I just want the tiniest amount on these ones and a little touch more right here. And then here are the eyes all finished. I really hope that glitter shadow is showing in the best way because it is one of the prettiest shadows I have in my collection. So now for my lips, I'm going to be going in with something quite simple. This little duo right here, the MAC Oak Lip Liner and the Glossier, the holographic gloss with the really pretty glitter in it. This is my favorite MAC pencil when I want to go in with something a little bit more see-through because it's really close to my natural lip color. I really hope that glitter is showing through the camera. 
because it's like little pink LED lights. And I like to overline my cupid's bow with a little bit of gloss just so that the light reflects on the highest point of my lip just to make my lip look a little bit more juicy. It's a great trick if you want your lips to look as juicy as possible. So here's the final look all complete. I really love how this one turned out. I really love this eye technique. It really does draw the eye outwards. Let me know if you'd like to see more of an intense version of this type of eye shape or maybe even a colorful one. I think that'd be a really fun twist on this trend. The only thing though is I really feel my complexion products starting to move. So I don't think I'll ever do the Future Dew and the Ilia Serum mix ever again, especially with my oily skin. Skin. It looks incredible right now, but I just know it's not gonna be a lasting look on me I usually have this finish at the end of the day So I don't even know what I would look like with this combo at the end of the day probably like a puddle I really hope this video turned out and I really hope you enjoyed this Let me know if you'd like more direct sunlight videos. I think this was fun I definitely want to invest in a diffuser just so that I can actually make eye contact with the lens and so that I don't burn my eyes out that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it fun. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. I will make sure to link all the products I used in today's video in the description down below as always. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.